Greetings everyone, today, we will learn comments and data types in Python. Introduction to comments and data types in Python. Comments in a program are human-readable instructions added to make the source code easier to understand. They are ignored by compilers and interpreters. Hash is used for single-line comments and triple quote is used for multi-line comments. Here are examples of single and multi-line comments for your reference. A data type in Python refers to the classification or categorization of data items. It tells the interpreter or compiler how the programmer intends to use the data. Each variable in Python has a data type associated with it. Python has five basic data types. Python automatically decides the data type of a variable based on the use of the variable for the first time. Once a variable is assigned with a data type it can only be changed using an explicit command. Python has five standard data types. They are Numeric Boolean set, mapping sequence Integers are whole numbers without decimal parts. Floats are numbers with decimal parts. Complex numbers have both real and imaginary parts, often denoted as A plus BJ, where A is the real part and BJ is the imaginary part. In Python, a string is just a bunch of characters put together, enclosed in either single or double quotes. Indexing in Python allows you to access individual characters within a string. Here's a simple example. The first element in a sequence is accessed using index 0. The last element in a sequence can be accessed using index minus 1. You can do various things with strings like cutting out parts of them, slicing, sticking them together, concatenating, or repeating them. To cut out a part of a string, you use something like string, start, stop, step, where you can even skip characters if you want. Here, my underscore string, 0, gets the first character. My underscore string, 2, gets the third character. My underscore string minus 1 gets the last character. Look at this example. We start at the second character, which is B in a cyber square. We stop just before the tenth character, which is D in a cyber square. This means we include characters up to index 9. We include every second character from the start to the stop. So, the output is B R Q A. Take a look at this, it'll give you a clearer understanding of the topic. Let's start by printing the string stored in the variable str underscore cs. Now, click the run button. str underscore cs of 0 will print the character at the 0th position of the string str underscore cs. Now you can see the letter h from the string str underscore cs. Here, strc underscore cs of 2 colon 5 will print a substring of str underscore cs, starting from the character at index 2 up to 5, not including, the character at index 5. Here, str underscore cs of 2 colon prints a substring of str underscore cs starting from the character at index 2 until the end of the string. Here the str underscore cs asterisk 7 this will print the string str underscore cs repeated 7 times. Here you can see that str underscore cs plus test prints the concatenation of the string str underscore cs with the strings test. str underscore cs of minus 1 colon will print the last character of the string str underscore cs. Here, str underscore cs of minus 11 colon it will print the last 11 characters of the string str underscore cs. Thank you.